Hi, I'm Revant. This is part 25 of Web Services video series. In this session, we will discuss difference between web reference and service reference. Important synopsis we will discuss in this video are what is web reference and its advantages, what is service reference and its advantages, difference and importance of references. So let's begin the tutorial. What is web reference? Let's we understand what is web reference. A web reference allows you to communicate with any of the service based on any of the technology that implements WSI means a web service interoperability basic profile and which has a relevant metadata has WSDL web service description language WSDL internally com uses ASMX communication on the client side. Web reference is the world style of deprecated ASP.NET web services which has an extension of ASMX which internally uses XML serialization for the communication. Either it may be any of the project has web app, website, console application, win forms, etc. This web reference is a wrapper over WSDL.exe and can be used to create proxies of .NET 1.1 or 2.0 clients. Of course, this means when you are pointing to WCF service, it should use the endpoint has a basic HTTP binding. What is service reference? A service reference allows you to communicate with any of the technology that implements any of the protocols supported by WCF, including but not limited to WSI, Web services uses this web, web service interoperability profile and this WCF supports more than this web service supports more than this web service supported protocol. Internally it uses the WCF communication on the client side. It means more than the web service has a web service will use only basic HTTP binding for the communication protocol. When compared to WCF, it supports more than the basic HTTP binding. It uses basic HTTP binding, net TCP protocol, MSMQ, shared memory, etc. Service reference is the new way of doing it. Adding a WCF service reference gives, gives you a much more advanced flexible service model. Service model will be created once you add the service reference to the project. Service reference is a wrapper over svcutil.exe and also creates client proxies. Differences between web reference and service reference. This is a most important uh, interview question. Web references uses .NET 1.1 and 2.0 to generate proxy classes and service references uses 3.0 and 3.5 to generate these proxy classes. Web reference generate proxy through wsdl.exe and service reference will generate proxy through svcutil.exe. Web reference pointing to an endpoint of a basic HTTP and service reference supports all the protocols like a HTTP protocol, TCP and a shared memory etc. Traditionally web service ASMX supports only one protocol that is basic HTTP when compared to WCF service supports more protocols than traditional web services. WSDL.exe uses XML serializer for, for the communication with the web service with the visual document and svcutil.exe uses XML serializer or data contract serializer for the communication. Adding reference through Visual Studio. When we look at the first picture, in Visual Studio 2008, we can add only add web reference. Right click on the solution explorer and we can add the visual document or the web service reference URLs through add web reference. There is no service reference in this version of Visual Studio 2008. Microsoft has been added in the latter releases with the Visual Studio has when we look at the second picture it uses this add service reference in Visual Studio 2012. 
we will get us one doubt is there any possible way of adding web reference in a visual studio 2012 yes it is possible so let's we look in action how can we add web reference through visual studio 2012 let's flip to visual studio go to file new project select a template as visual c sharp select a web and dotnet framework has 4.5 select asp.net empty web application rename the project as adding references and click on okay button that will create the web project once the project is created right click on the project let's click on add service reference here we can add the address of the web service or the wcf service url this is the web service ravenwebservice.soami.com is the url let's click on service description that will show the visual document this is the visual document if you are new to this vid video series watch wsdl description language video i have explained what is visual document and the services how to create the web services let's copy this url and paste it here click on go button so it will make the services available for this web service rename the namespace as service reference and click on go button that will create the client proxy so client proxy has been created so this is a service reference we have added so here we have added the service reference to our project is there any way to add web reference to our project yes we can add this web reference also let's right click on the solution explorer and uh, click on add service reference when we look at here there is an advanced button when you when we click on this button it will show one pop up in that below we have add web reference when we click on this button it will show one pop up in that we it suggest to enter the url here we have to give the url let's copy this url and let's paste that url here and click on go button that will show the services available in the visual document so these are the methods service methods available let's add the service met name has namespace as web reference and click on add reference that will generate the proxy classes and will create the web reference to our project so we have added service reference and web reference so we have added service reference through url and web reference through url now the question arises what is the difference between service reference and the web reference so the service reference much more flexible than the web reference through service reference we can add custom soap header and uh, we can pass the credentials to that custom soap header and we can have a communication with that and uh, service reference also support more protocols when compared to web reference it only supports basic http binding because uh, it uses only smx for the communication and the service reference will communicate uh, through w wcf windows communication foundation so it supports more protocols than web reference when we look at here 
it uses service soap client this this is much more flexible than the normal service thanks for watching for references and resources visit these links and subscribe to my youtube channel for email alerts thank you